Ever notice anything strange in the background of SpongeBob? Because while you might be focused on this, or this, or this, you might be missing something like this. Here are 10 details in the background of SpongeBob you might have missed. Number 10. Pretty patties, available in six designer colors. <laughs> pretty patties are famous for their surprising side effect. Your dumb pretty patties turn my face purple! But maybe the bikini bottomites could have seen this coming. If they paid really close attention to this news broadcast, they'd see that pretty patties had some weird effects on SpongeBob and Patrick. It's easy to see that pretty patties are popular. Where are their legs? Did the pretty patties make them invisible? I sure hope so, because otherwise they might want to take a trip to the leg doctor. Hey, at least they can keep Fred company. My leg! Number nine. Look what I got under my camp! And look at our tongues! What's wrong with you? We want our money back. All 46,853 of us. Yep, more pretty patties. They're just so mysterious. We know they can change the color of people's tongues, the pattern of their underwear, and even give people glow-in-the-dark properties. But are they responsible for this? <laughs> and if not, what are these things? Tall, wide-eyed, formless creatures staring eerily at crabs. They're kind of terrifying, actually. Number eight. Okay, there's a lot going on here, I know. But while it may seem like random chaos, if we pause it and look more closely at what's going on in the bottom left, there's a few frames that actually tell an unfortunate story. Let's break it down. Here we see two firefighters, and they're holding a trampoline between them. If you look above them, you'll notice a fish-shaped hole in the top of the building. And finally, if you look down here, way in the corner of the frame, you can just make out two feet of someone lying on the ground. Have you put it together? We can't say for sure, but it looks like this fish jumped out of this burning building while these firefighters tried to catch him. But they missed. Ouch. Number seven. We did it, Patrick! We saved the city! Just think what might have happened if we didn't tell everyone about the monster! About the what? This one is actually from a little later in the same scene. Like we said, there is a lot going on here, but we're not talking about the meteor, or the man whose shower takes up the entire second story of his house. We're talking about this. I mean, the cause of all this chaos was Wormy the Butterfly, right? So how could he have caused this? Maybe Wormy really was a monster. <laughs> Number six. Now I learned a lesson I won't soon forget. So listen and you won't regret. Be true to yourself. Don't miss your chance. And you won't end up like the fool who ripped his pants. Everybody loves the ripped pants song, right? I mean, just look at that cheering crowd. That sure looks like they love this song, except for these guys. While everyone else is partying, these two are completely frozen, unblinking, and just staring intensely at SpongeBob. Either they are completely unimpressed by this song, or they love it a little too much. Either way, it's kind of creepy. Number five. Don't let Patrick distract you. Because what you should really be looking at is Tom. You know, the chocolate guy. Chocolate! 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 Can you spot him? It shouldn't be too hard since he's right here and here. That's right, this guy is in two places at once. Then, when we see the crowd again, everyone seems to be duplicated. And there were like five Toms. Well, at least now he'll have help making potato salad. Way to go, buddy. It took us three days to make that potato salad. Three days! 
Number four. Fortunately, I have enough talent for all of you. <laughs> all of you. <laughs> when do we get the free food? Okay, this one's really hard to catch because it's not about what you see, it's about what you don't see. Let's watch it again. Keep a close eye on Sandy's helmet. Fortunately, I have enough talent for all of you. <laughs> all of you. <laughs> when do we get the free food? Did you notice it? What happened to the other half of this fish? We can't see any part of him that's behind the helmet. So does the helmet render him invisible? Or does it actually reveal that this guy is not really there at all? Maybe Sandy's helmet doubles as some sort of ghost detection device. Or it's just a mistake. Number three. Well, maybe we wouldn't sound so bad if some people didn't try to play with big meaty claws. What did you say, punk? Big meaty claws! Well, these claws ain't for just attracting mates. Bring it on, old man! Bring it on! No, people. Let's be smart and bring it off. Oh, so now the talking cheese is gonna preach to us. Wait, wait! I know tensions are high. Take that! Take There's a deposit on that equipment, people! What a rumble. What do you think was the craziest thing that happened here? Was it Sandy threatening Patrick with a trumpet? Was it this literal symbol crash? Or was it this? Why is SpongeBob holding a dismembered arm? And to make things stranger, it doesn't seem to match the arm of anyone else in the room. In fact, it looks like a human arm. A tiny, fish-sized human arm. How did we miss that? Number two. Ah. Goo Lagoon, home to fun-loving beachgoers, free ice cream, and- Holy fish paste, what is that? Like, I know there are some strange fish in Bikini Bottom, but that one actually doesn't have a face. No eyes, no nose, and no mouth. Well, at least SpongeBob won't have to worry about this guy. If he doesn't have a face, then he can't take in any water, and he can't drown. I mean, he's a fish, he probably wouldn't have been able to drown anyway, but wait a minute. Aren't they all fish? So how could any of them drown? Don't think about it too hard. Number one. Squidward! What? What in Neptune's name is going on? We're making the commercial, Mr. Krabs. What you're doing is throwing away me money. I told you to rent only what's absolutely necessary. This is all necessary. Well, what's all this useless junk? That's the useless junk for scene uh, 28. Oh, well, how do you explain that? A second crusty crab? Mr. Krabs, everyone needs an understudy. Well, you got me there. Okay, I really want them to release that Squidward version of the Krusty Krab commercial. I mean, it looks like when the new director, Mr. Krabs, took over, he caught a lot of things. You got lost all of you, you fired Guan Scram! Get out of here, you moochers! If you look closely at Squidward's original version, you can see that it was gonna go in a very different direction, involving giant tomato slices, a cowboy, clones, that is before Krabs got there and doled it all down with a more corporate plan. Yep, I got a sweet deal on a primetime slot. Oh, Jan, I've got a real problem. What's your problem, Amy? I've got all this money, and I don't know what to do with it. And I'm hungry. Hashtag release the Squidward cut. 